-hmm. Can you show me a cool bass drum exercise? I've got uh, a really sluggish, slow right foot. Yeah. I need some work. <laughs> Can you show me something? He wants me to believe that. <laughs> He's Thomas Lane. <laughs> For me, New Breed was like that book. It's just. Oh, it's killer, of it's course. Crazy, right? You guys know New Breed? Gary yeah. Chester, New Breed. So, my whole thing is totally merging, like okay. Rosetta Stone. I got you writing, speaking, and the whole, just everything, right? right? So, I'll just take uh, system, uh, system two, no, I'll take system four, which okay. is 16th notes on the right, eighth note, three. off beat, right, off beat, one and two and three and four and one. Now, I love that for a slower tempo, you can work on your feel. Absolutely. You know? Especially when you start sight reading, uh, like 4A, 4B, 5A, right. 5B. Right. That, you know, a lot more notes. Yeah. <laughs> but system six and eight right. moves from 16th to 8th. Right. Which means you go faster. Yeah. Right. For me, I start pushing the tempos. Sure. It's, it's the thing of, at that point, pushing it on a metronome, mm -hmm. it, it's, you got to find that place where you, you, you're not falling apart. Right. And you're not necessarily nailing it. Mm -hmm. Live right there. Of course. Until you can bridge the gap and then move a step forward and bridge that gap. Right. It's like, you just got to spend time. And the more you do it, next thing you know, you're up to you exactly. know, 140 yeah. and, you know. But the thing is, for me, the control comes from from being accurate, mm -hmm. you know, and sight reading. Well, that's exactly what control is: is being able to play accurately, exactly, and have control over dynamics and rhythms, exactly, at the same time. Yeah. And I was say anybody who would know that right. <laughs> would be Thomas Lang. Get Thomas Lang. <laughs> <laughs>